Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, tracking the wind here, you can see the area where there's hurricane force winds in red, tropical storm force winds 39 miles an hour or greater. Uh, haven't reached the uh, Lesser Antilles yet, the northern Lesser Antilles, but it's going to be there later today. And then the hurricane force winds moving off to the west will be impacting that area as well. And then in its sights, uh, the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico in the next 12 to 24 hours. So they're going to get uh, some really bad winds there. There's likely to be destruction. And here's the forecast track. I mean, that five is a category five hurricane, 180 mile per hour wind. So it moves over a lot of these islands close to Puerto Rico, close enough. They're probably going to have some big problems there. And then uh, it may move far enough to the north of the Dominican Republic. They may not have as many problems. I do think they'll still see some strong winds, though, and uh, heavy rain and tidal flooding. But uh, maybe it'll be far enough north. It won't be quite as bad. And then it'll probably run near Cuba maybe affecting the uh, southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos area. Then it's forecast to move up into South Florida or very near South Florida. And the latest trend in the models has been for this to be a little bit more to the east. So stay tuned for updates. There's a lot of uncertainty after we get to Sunday in the forecast, but generally it looks like it's going to move north. So just keep this in mind. Current strength does not equal future strength. So, you know, it's Category 5 right now. It's maybe one of the strongest on record. Well, that doesn't mean that by the time it, it moves up towards Florida that it'll have that same strength. It may be totally different. We'll see. Puerto Rico, Cuba, maybe the Dominican Republic, but uh, Florida likely to be affected by this hurricane. After that, you know, for our region, it's just too early to tell. Uh, I do think we're going to have at least some rain, maybe some winds from it, but it, there's still a lot of time, and we'll have updates on it as we go through the day. Then there's Tropical Storm Jose, which is newly formed, winds of 40 miles an hour. Now, this one is over in the eastern Atlantic, and this one is likely to become a hurricane, but I, a lot of models right now suggesting this is going to stay offshore, and it's already moving to the north at this point. By the time we get to Friday, it would probably uh, bounce around here a little bit and then move north, maybe affect the Bermuda. We'll have updates on it, but right now, it was stay tuned. There's a lot of updates to be had. So right now we got high pressure. We got some pretty nice weather out there. Nice breeze out of the southwest. No rain just yet. A few showers to our southwest, though. We might see a few isolated showers this afternoon. Future track, I think it's overdoing it here quite a bit. I do think we'll get a few isolated showers, but uh, not that much. And then we go into the overnight, a few scattered showers. Tomorrow, rain is on and off. We'll get some in the morning, a little bit more at noon, and, well, quite a bit more probably in the afternoon hours. That cold front moves in, cools us down, but it brings us a high chance of rain. That goes into Thursday morning. Temperatures we're already in the low to mid 80s. Got a few mid to upper 80s like Norfolk right now in Williamsburg. Mostly sunny, but we're becoming partly cloudy. We'll have some isolated showers in the region. Temperatures in the low 90s for most, upper 80s near the coast, upper 80s on the eastern shore and in Hampton. 92 though, Williamsburg, 90 in Newport News. Tomorrow, rain is likely 81, and then showers Thursday morning, but then we're going to dry it out. It looks pretty good in there going into the weekend. Highs in the 70s, no rain all the way up through Sunday. Monday into Tuesday, we'll see what the track of Irma does to our forecast.